So I think lots of people with multiple sclerosis can be quite concerned about exercising, um, especially if they experience fatigue. Yeah. Um, can you offer some advice about exercise and fatigue for people yeah. wanting to be more physically active? Yeah. So I think so I think the the important thing is there's no direct relationship for a person between how how much exercise they do and how fatigued they feel. Um, and I think that's because there's different components to fatigue. There's the physical side and there's the mental side of the fatigue. And there's they kind of combine together in terms of doing something that you want to do, but also the, me the mental noise, the kind of noise in the room, the, the light and everything can have an impact on your fatigue that's separate to the, the physical side of things too. So I think, so that's the first message, don't be scared of doing physical activity because it, fatigue is more, more than that, it, it's a bigger picture, so actually the physical bit is just one part of causing your fatigue. So you can do activities, um, and there is no direct relationship between how much exercise you do and how fatigued you are. It's very individual. So the next bit of it is, you're the best person to know your, your body. So thinking about the exercise and the impact on, on your fatigue. So if you're not doing anything at all, the best thing to do is start on really small, so a small amount of activity and a lower intensity, yeah, and, and, and start there. So that can be a few minutes of exercise one day and then a few, and see how you are and see how was I tired afterwards and how quickly did I get over it. So we've done lots of exercise programs with people with MS and, and what we do know is that when we've, if, even when we've, we were at once given funding by the MS Society to see if we could do too much exercise and was it bad? Um, and, and what I think we do know is that whatever you do by the next day you'll be fine. <laughs> so, so, and that was really huge amounts of very high intensity exercise. So I think, I think that's what, what we do know is you probably can't do any harm. Uh, what you might do is increase your fatigue that day and if you do masses you might well increase your fatigue that day. Um, for a, a period of time that's not great and you can't get on and do all the things you want to do. So, so I think, think about yourself, start small um, and gradually build up. So the next bit is usually it's the how hard you work that probably pitches you into slightly more fatigue. So doing things at a lower intensity usually has less effect on, on the fatigue um, in MS. So if it's a kind of more intense, you might like to feel a bit fatigued. But that does vary between people as well. So that's a kind of starting point. So start small, build up gradually, start working at a very low intensity so your heart's not, rate's not going too high. If you're thinking about how you feel, you don't feel particularly out of breath, you don't feel that your legs are particularly working very hard, start low on everything and build up very gradually. Fantastic.